Welcome to Crypto After Dark. I'm your host, Jacob Perry. Bitcoin is doing exactly what we expect Bitcoin to do around this time in March. And honestly, I'm actually very, very excited that we are at the end of March because now we are getting into the closer, juicy, nice, good, glorious having. And that is just coming up just very, very close. So uh, today was a good day. Today was a good day. I got in a nice little morning afternoon update. Uh, I did try to get into, in fact, they even made the thumbnail for it. I tried to get in an afternoon update, but it's really difficult finding a spot in San Diego that isn't like bombarded by massive amounts of traffic, massive sounds of corrupt, uh, corruption. Yeah, that too. Uh, construction, um, just noise that is just overwhelming, ridiculous. And it's, it's hard to find a nice, good area. In fact, I was like, you know what? Maybe I should go to a mall, walk, walk down the mall. If I should go to a mall where there's not a lot of traffic, but there's like, yeah, there's less people there, especially, you know, during like one o'clock in the afternoon on a random Thursday, let me know, leave it in the comments. Um, but today was a good day. I tried to get that in. Didn't work out. I did make the thumbnail though. So, Hey, I made the thumbnail. Uh, and then we got into this right here. Uh, in fact, uh, there will be a, um, there will be an evening update for Bitcoin before I go to bed, which will be approximately 10 o'clock, 1030, uh, depending on what time. So um, I, me and my wife, we've been watching a, a saga of movies. I can't tell you what, what it is. Just, you know, we like to keep things a little bit secret from some people. Um, but we have been watching a saga of movies and we're like, OK, well, this is really good. So we're going to keep it up until the saga ends. Fun fact, we've actually watched all and I mean all of the Fast and the Furious movies. It doesn't matter what they are. We, we are movie people. We do like movies. We do like shows. Um, but there will be another evening update just before I go to bed, which will be like 1030, maybe, uh, maybe even 11, um, because I do work a lot. And this is part of my work. Uh, and for you guys on the East Coast, that would be if it's 1030, 11, 12, 1. It'd be 130 for you guys. Um, so yeah, it, it's going to be a fun time. So let's go ahead and uh, let's look at everything. Right now, we got Bitcoin coming in at 70,594 and Ethereum coming in at 3,618. Uh, Tether coming in at $1. All right. Um, Solana coming in at $191. XRP coming in at 63 cents. Dogecoin coming in at 18 cents. Cardano at 66 cents. Things are looking up and up. Shiba Inu, man, what a pump. Dogecoin, what a pump. I'm telling you, the meme coins, listen listen okay the meme coins have been pumping they've been printing money more than the federal reserve so shout out to everybody congratulations to everyone who has made money with meme coins proud of you I'm really proud of you uh moving on here uh we got chain link coming in it's up 17 percent of course it's still around 20 dollars. it hasn't really moved much uh bitcoin cash could gosh 34 percent that's one of the things L listen to me it doesn't matter if a project is good or not. Okay. What matters is, did they rug? Okay. If they rug, you're screwed. Okay. Just plain and simple. The contract will change. And next thing you know, you're buying into this contract and then all your money because the contract goes straight into someone else's wallet. Be careful of that. However, if it's just a dead project, like, like people just abandoned it, like Dogecoin, like the founder of Dogecoin, he just left it. He's like, I'm going to create a funny meme coin and I'm out of here. See you later. And he never had anything else to do with it. That's really sad because he's missing out on some Dogecoin. Um, but at that point, it, it became a dead project. The founder's done. There's no development on it. Well, at least there wasn't for a long time. It was a dead project. But man, it printed the gains like you wouldn't believe. So it doesn't really matter if uh, if things are a dead project or not. In fact, this is actually, let me show you this. Oh, um, by the way. $2.7 trillion market cap, $125 billion of volume. And of course, Gala is still trending. Weird. Mantra is also trending. Other things. Oh, wait. Is this? Let me refresh this. Is this right? Yeah. No. No, it's not right. Okay. Um, wow. Did, did I mess up? Dogecoin, 41%. I am wrong. Uh, so that was a little bit different. Let's go through this again. 70,000 Bitcoin, $3,500 uh, Ethereum. Dogecoin, 21 cents, up 41% for the week consider taking profits, um, consider it. You don't have to, whatever. Cardano, 64 cents. Uh, we do, I do like ICP. I've liked ICP for a long time. Uh, 42%. That, oh, that's really good. 
let's let's look at my boy optimism okay no one's talking about optimism and let me tell you something one thing i learned from bill noble before we started getting into other you know what i was just talking about one thing i learned from bill noble okay who worked at goldman sachs go check him out um on on twitter on or on x and on youtube when no one's talking about it talk about it because that will be the next one that prints money anyways uh optimism coming in at three dollars and seventy cents so here's what i mean okay Oh gosh. Okay. Here we go. Let me go back down. Cause I forgot to swap camera angles here. Uh, where's optimism. Where are you? Optimism, uh, optimism coming in at $3 and 70 cents. Okay. So look at this. This is a prime example of loon C. Okay. This is a, uh, is it? Oh, loon C. There we go. This is a, an example of Terra Luna classic, which is completely a dead project, completely destroyed. It went to zero. It has, and yet from its bottom, Oh man. Okay. Here we go. Let's look at the past year. Okay. What a pump. Okay. What a pump. Um, where, how, how much, how much money has it printed? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. 15,000% dead project. 15. It's up 15,000%. That's a 15 X. Do you understand that? It is down one hundred percent and yet if you would have bought in at the bottom it is up from its all-time low 15x put put 10 grand in you made 156 thousand. that's what you just made congratulations so this is what it means that even though something is a dead project doesn't mean that it can't print money okay unless it's obviously a rug pull and it's a scam definitely don't put money into it for sure but terra luna terra luna classic it's not a scam okay it's just a dead project. And there is a difference between dead project and a scam. Uh, let's move on here. Um, what in the world is it? Okay, there we go. Okay, it is working. Sorry. A little bit of a new setup today. I like this. Um, the next thing we need to look at is a Bitcoin fear and greed index. We are coming in in still extreme fear. We are just one tick down from two days ago, I believe. Um, just at 79. Speaking of that, yesterday, I do hang. So I'm a Christian. I'm a theologian. Uh, I do go to church quite uh, every single Sunday, actually. Um, and I have done, I've been a Christian since I was 12. Um, no, I'm sorry, not 12, uh, 14. I was almost 15, but I was reading my Bible pretty extensively and studying pretty extensively at 12 and became a Christian at 14, almost 15, just a few months before I be, uh, turned 15. Uh, so update, I was hanging out with church folk yesterday, got home a little late. Traffic was really bad. That's okay. Had to put the kids down. And before I knew it, it was 8.30. I was like, whew, all right, well, it's a little too late. Now, we did start like 10 minutes early. And by the way, I'm very particular when it comes to time. I try to be very like particular. What's, what's the word? Um, not pungent. That's not the word. <laughs> That's definitely not the word. Oh, man. Particular, um, pointed, poignant. No. Ah, it's going to. Okay, if you know what word I'm looking for, punctual. That's the word. Because it was in Hercules. I am punctual. Um. I am a very punctual person. And so 10 minutes, five minutes, things get down to the wire. Well, what, you know, when, when do we start? Okay. I'm very punctual, but anyways, uh, back to this, we do have the, uh, the Bitcoin greed and fear index coming in at 79 and that's pretty great. And, uh, let's go ahead and hit the refresh button on the having countdown. I think this is, uh, all right, look at, man, this is so good. Estimated having countdown, no longer 420. Okay. Um, no longer 420. We are looking at uh, April 19th, just in 20 days. This is really exciting. Um, just to cover this, uh, it says at three three oh six UTC Universal Time. I, I don't I don't know what UTC is. If you know what UTC is compared to Pacific Standard Time, let me know. But anyways, um, uh, the difficulty is eighty point eighty three point one two terahash texahash texahash is what it is not terahash. Uh, Bitcoin uh, market cap one point three trillion. And uh, current block height, 836,750. Event block height, 840,000. Okay, that's exciting. In other words, 840,000 blocks produced from what I understand. And let me just go ahead and reread this, okay? For most people who don't know what the having is, let me go ahead and explain what the having is. This is highly important. We are coming up on it, and this point needs to be pressed. If you are new to crypto, you need to understand the having. All right, the having is this. There is, there is an inflation rate, okay? Think about how the government prints money and it, and it inflates the U.S. dollar, okay? 
Bitcoin also has an inflation rate, okay? So every block that is produced on Bitcoin, on the blockchain, okay? You remember uh, when you played the PS2, okay? You had a little memory card. You got these little blocks on the memory card that hold data, hold game, it holds game data. You remember that? Yeah, same exact thing on the Bitcoin network. You got to create these little blocks that hold data. And what is that data? It's not game data. It's transaction data in the Bitcoin network. So these little blocks, they have to be produced by miners, which uh, right here is exactly what we're looking at. Uh, difficulty 8.3, um, 8, 8.8, 83.127 Texahash. There we go. Okay. So <clears throat> Bitcoin needs my, uh, blocks mined to hold the data of transactions on the network. When a certain number of blocks are reached, the inflation rate for Bitcoin is cut in half. That's what that means. And economic, economically speaking, supply and demand, the less of something there is, the more it should cost. Plain and simple. Now, let's look at this. Uh, the block, ha okay, what is the block having event? Block having happens every four years. This is approximate. It is not, uh, it's not like, it's approximate, it's not exact, okay? So approximately every four years, or, and this is why it's approximate, every 210,000 blocks on Bitcoin's blockchain. Bitcoin's initial block reward was 50, okay? So if you produce a little, a little block that held transaction data, you would get 50 Bitcoin. That was way back in the day, about 10 years ago, approximately. Um, the current block reward is 6.25. The next block reward will be 3.125. This lowers the rate at which Bitcoin are generated. I'm not going to say Bitcoins, okay? At which Bitcoin are generated. The halving is periodical and programmed into Bitcoin's code. I would say this is exactly what makes Bitcoins scarce and valuable. And it can be used for literally anything, okay? <clears throat> so this is really good. If you want to find this out, you can just go to NiceHash and just type it in Google or Brave or what, Mozilla, whatever you know, Internet Explorer, whatever browser you use, uh, whatever search engine, <clears throat> nice hash, and just type in Bitcoin having because there there are other things uh, you can actually check out. They have an entire like store and everything like that. <coughs> um, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, you can go ahead and check that out, nice hash, and um, check out the having countdown. Moving on, let's go ahead and look at the charts. Oh, man, okay, this is good. Uh, oh wait, no, this is XLM. This is not good. This is. Uh, this, okay, let's look at the charts. Um, this is XLM, and here we go. All right, okay, so Bitcoin looking juicy, okay? Looking really juicy. What we have here is Bitcoin. It is in this little triangle pattern or panic pattern. Um, forgive me. Um, it is hitting resistance. It's hit the same resistance one, two, three, four days in a row. We did close on a green candle. That's a really good sign. That is an engulfing bullish candle because the green body has overtaken this body. That's really good here. However, we are hitting some resistance right now. Um, and there's no two ways about that. We are hitting the resistance right here. I'll zoom in so you can see it. And it is wanting to go down. Okay. It could come all the way down to up here. Okay. Now it looks like this range. I, I was thinking at 66,000, you know, somewhere down here. And now it looks like we could be moving maybe as low as, as low as, okay. I'm not saying it's going there still 66,000, but more than likely over the next couple of days, it could just be around 67 to 68,000. Um, so there's that. And it's, it, it, but Hey, if it breaks resistance, we are at bare minimum going to 73,000 bare minimum. Okay. 73,000. And if it breaks that we're going to the moon, we are in price action discovery mode. Let's go ahead and check out the RSI. This is Bitcoin on the daily time frame. Bitcoin daily time frame. All right, this is Bitcoin on the daily time frame. It did cross the signal line. We are in bullish territory between the 50 and the 70 line. That's really, really good news. Let's go ahead and <clears throat> man, my throat is uh, feeling a little dry. When my wife gets here, I'll have to give her. I uh, have to give her. I will have to have her give me some water. Uh, looking at market cipher B, we are curving. That's not a really good sign. Okay, however. There is hope because last time we were curving, 
we decided to get some chop and then a massive freaking pump up and then we got another curve right here we did get another curve and we just continued it we held that wave we went down a little bit was which was just sideways action and then we just pumped up okay so just because it curves doesn't mean anything however this time it may mean something because we do have the VWAP coming down. We do have the money flow coming down, but we had all of that last time. Also, man, I really need to see my massage therapist. My neck is still hurting. I, I can't, I can't turn it all the way or I can't tilt it all the way to the left. And it's really pulling on all these muscles right here. Um, so if you see me stretching, don't think I'm a freak. Okay. I'm just like, I'm, I'm tightened up. Okay. I'm tightly wound to quote the white shrewd, but I'm a very relaxed person. Very chill. But anyways, this is what we got. Uh, I did say that this was super bullish. That is a fact. Of course, we could just get some chop with the VWAP going down, the money flow going down. The if It, it honestly could... Um, let me bring this over here. It The wave, the momentum wave, could literally just come down like this. That's a real possibility. I didn't talk about it because, well, we're in a bull run. Um, but we are also getting closer to the halving, so a likelihood of this could happen. But do I think it's going to happen? Uh, I don't know. I hope it doesn't happen. Oh, um, I hope it doesn't happen. I really, I really hope it doesn't happen, but Hey, it is what it is. If it does. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Let's go ahead and look at Ethereum. Uh, same thing, kind of the same thing with Ethereum. It's moving up here, uh, as you can see, and the VWAP is coming down. The money flow is coming down, but it's still looking good. Oh man. Why do I always do this? I do not like the brush setting feature. <coughs> Man. Ugh. It's driving me crazy. Um, I might have to get the water myself. We'll see. We'll see how long my voice can last. We do, um, let's see, for Ethereum, we do have this right here. Uh, the RSI, it's still cross bullish into the bullish, you know, in bullish territory. That's really good. Uh, there is a little bit of, there is downtrending level of resistance here. Let me go ahead and do this. So you guys can see this downtrending level of resistance and we do have an uptrending level of support right here. And, uh, apparently, apparently never been on live television before. We will be breaking this pattern sometime soon, whether it's to the upper upside or downside, we don't know, but when it does move, be prepared. Never try to front run the market. Use caution when you, when it breaks one way or another and you get confirmation full send baby. Okay. Let's look at our boy Cardano. We do love Cardano on this channel. I'm a big Cardano fan. Not only am I a big Cardano fan, I am a Cardano perma bull. And I yet, I own very little Cardano. Why? Why do I own very little Cardano? Well, the reason for that is because Cardano will not give me a big enough return. I do think it's an easy 10x. No toys about that. But, uh, look, there's juicier coins, okay? I think Cardano is one of the best, and I mean one of the best smart contract platform layer one that there is. I really do believe that. Um, highly decentralized, highly decentralized, love Cardano, but it is in this little pattern here. Will it break to the downside? Maybe go back down to 62 cents or will it break up? I don't know. Uh, it honestly looks like it may be about to break to the upside, but let's look at the RSI. Let's look at the RSI. Oh, it is in a downtrend. I will say that it's in a downtrend. Okay between the 50 and the 30 not good also a uh, market cipher b does look like it wants to print a red dot here shortly so that is not looking good by any means so we may be looking to print down and finally let's look at total three total three is looking so good okay this is total three this is everything excluding um <clears throat> it, ex it this excludes bitcoin and ethereum which are the largest market cap cryptocurrencies they are like literally the biggest bitcoin's 1.3 trillion dollars think about that and ethereum is half a trillion dollars so this is uh this is good news here this is the daily time frame and uh man i forget which um which total three time frame kelly kellum was looking at but there was like an inverse head and shoulders and i don't remember if it was the daily the hourly the monthly the weekly i don't remember but um let's go ahead and draw some trend lines here a trend line from here to there and a trend line from there to there. And again, hey, these things don't have to be exact. They really don't. You just want the general idea of where they are. Some people will tell you that they need to be exact. I'm not one of those people. So that's that. Everything overall is looking bullish. One more thing. Let's look at the Dixie. This is the, um, <coughs> man, this is driving me crazy. I don't, I don't have a cough. I swear. 
It's just uh, my throat has like a weird little itch and tickle in it, and it won't go away. But it's okay. We're going to move on. So we did, uh, did not mean to do that. We're going to look at everything. This is the dollar cost, or the, the dollar cost, listen to me. This is the dollar index. This shows you the value of the dollar. And in fact, I'm actually going to delete this and redraw this because it needs to be redrawn. And maybe we can see this as a head and shoulders. Hey, I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe, maybe it'll, maybe this will come down right here and it will create a little baby head and shoulders pattern right here. Maybe who knows? I don't know, but I do know that I do want to kind of keep this up because technically this is still a head and shoulders, even though it looks a little funky. Um, so well, let's move on here. <coughs> Ooh, man, my throat's really driving me crazy. Um, all right. So this is crypto after dark. I am Jacob Perry and I have a Bitcoin for a B and we are at 133 subscribers, 77 videos. And I do make all of these wonderful thumbnails myself. And in fact, on this one last night, I just literally flipped the thumbnail because it was fun and uh, changed it to 180,000 instead of just 100,000. And I threw in some Bitcoins on my shades. Let's do it. <clears throat> yep, I make everything. Uh, I make all this stuff myself. So go ahead and feel free. If you're watching on X, you know I exclusively live stream on X. Go ahead, go over to YouTube, tap the subscribe button, help my brother out. If you're watching on YouTube, please know this is a recording per usual. And go over to X at Presup Perry, link in the description, and just follow me. In fact, speaking of Presup Perry, here we are, baby. We are down from 1610 to 1600 again. And that's okay. On the show, you know that we talk about crypto, money, markets, politics, economics, everything. That's what we talk about. Because as you know, crypto is not in its own little bubble, and neither is anything else. Whatever happens to crypto affects everything, and what happens to everything affects crypto. So let's be wise about our money. Uh, now, I'm actually going to stop it right here, okay? We are actually going to hit the opening scene, and we're going to mute the mic because I really, really need some water. I'm going to help you guys out. This is going to be great. So I'm going to hit opening. I'm actually just going to hit the... I'm going to mute, mute, mute the mic. I'll be back. I'm back, baby. Let's go. All right. Uh, I did have to get a little jar of water, okay? This is brought to you by water. The whole show brought to you by water. They're not a sponsor, by the way. They they sponsor my life because that's how I live. H2O, let's go. All right. Let's go, Hannah. All right. So we all know Hannah Hughes. We love Hannah. Hannah's over at Hit Network. Hannah does a great job. Hannah stopped Hit Network from being hacked. Kick those suckers out. Good job, Hannah will work for Bitcoin. Uh, I'm sorry, Bitcoin. One, one more sip. All right. <clears throat> will work for Bitcoin. 100%. Okay. If you are using your money, let's talk about this. Let's talk about a little bit of financial wisdom here. If you're using your money to only save money, you will fail. You will lose all of your money. Not because you don't have enough, but because the value of it completely diminishes over time. That's what happens. So you need to work and you need to take your money and you need to put it into an investment. <coughs> Man, you need to put it into an investment and that will be Bitcoin. We might have to cut the show early. Like I'm about to lose my voice. <coughs> Moving on here. Yep. We're definitely going to have to cut this early. Um, FTX, Sam Bankman Freed served 24 and a quarter years in prison. Sorry, there you go. Served 25 years in prison. Let me tell you something. Oh, man, now my eyes water. This is not justice. This is not justice. We need to bring back public flogging and public shame. That's what we need to do. We need to bring all that stuff back. 
Um, this is not justice. They are causing taxpayers to pay for like the taxpayers who are victims of FTX. They are causing like the justice system is causing those people to pay for the well-being of Sam Bankman Free. Think about that. It's not justice. It's very evil. <clears throat> so I think he should have been publicly flogged, publicly embarrassed, and shamed for at least, or I should say at maximum, seven years in public every single day, all day. That's what I think. This is not justice. This is some form of weird justice that evil people made up. This is not justice at all. It should be way worse than just sitting in prison, eating good food, watching good television, and having the victims pay for his well-being. It should be way worse than that. Moving on. Um, this is from Block. Kathy Woods. <laughs> this, is so good. this actually made me laugh. This is, this is really funny. Sales of Coinbase shares. Not dumping, but active portfolio management. Okay? It's 100% dumping. When you sell, you dump. You dump on people. And that's okay. But it is active portfolio management. It's both. It's not one or the other. People have to take profits, okay? If the, if, the, if the rich people don't take profits, then you won't have any money either. That's just how the economy works. And uh, let's move on here. Because, man, my throat is... <coughs> I'm literally dying. Um, It's from uh, Illuminati Bot. This, <laughs> this made me laugh, too. <laughs> Look at this. George Bush is Bob Ross. <laughs> That's really funny. Um, With a... Uh, oh. Too soon or too late? I don't know. Well, I will say this. For the American con economy <laughs> and well-being and the American Constitution, <laughs> way too late. Way too late. <coughs> oh, my goodness. What's happening to me? Ooh. All right. We're, we will get through this. Coin Telegraph. How high can Bitcoin go? Bitcoin price prediction sees cycle top. <laughs> Ooh. At 180,000. <laughs> I, I, I will get through. I will suffer through this thing and all. I will get through it. <coughs> Whew. Man. My eyes are watering. My nose is dripping. I'm sweating. What's going on with me? But uh, do I think Bitcoin will go to 180K? Probably. If we hit $80,000 before the halving, which is uh, how many days now? 21 days. 20, 21 days. Okay. Um, if we hit 80,000 before the halving, I think we're going to see a hundred thousand dollars by June, July, August at the latest $180,000. Hey, maybe I'm just not bullish enough. I, I don't see 180. I feel like, geez, that's pretty big market cap there. Um, but could it happen? Yeah. Yeah. It totally could. To totally could happen. Matter of fact, what would it have to hit? So 140,000 would be $2.6 trillion market cap. Yeah, you know what? 180K, I think that's realistic. I really do. I mean, that's a lot of money, but it's just like a two or three, three and a half X from here. So I don't see why it wouldn't be. Uh, one more thing. Nope, that's it, guys. So that is it. And it's really poopy. I can't believe I'm only lasting 28 minutes on this, but I am literally losing my voice right now. I'm literally losing my voice. So I apologize. Um, there's so many things I wanted to say. So many good things. But I am literally can't talk. <laughs> literally can't talk right now. So that'll be it for the stream, guys. Sorry to cut it short. But that's okay. You know what? I'm going to be back here tomorrow. Because as you know, we're here Monday through Friday. Every single day, Monday through Friday. Again, if you're on X. Yeah, I'm losing my voice. All right. If you're on X, go over to YouTube. At Crypt After Dark. You got to put in the at symbol. And then... Just hit the subscribe button. If you're on YouTube, and again, it is a recording, go over to X at Precept Perry. Just hit the follow button. It really helps me out. So that'll be it for tonight, guys. That's a real bummer, but you know what? I literally, <coughs> I'm literally dying. So thank you guys for watching the live stream, and I'll see you at sunrise.